Yes, ho, beautiful people of the internet, far and wide, across all nations and continents, it's Nova Kane here. And thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to uh, do a very quick video about programming the controls for this game. This is X4 Foundations, if you did get that from, from the title or description or whatever I'm going to end up putting in that. Because last time, you know, the, the little video I did, the, the 30 whatever minutes, uh, it was a bit chaotic. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's part of the charm, isn't it? So, we're just going, this is all of, all of this is going to be is showing you how to use a HOTAS, if you've got one, um, to, to calibrate the controls. Oh, something, that's my voice there. Wonderful. Why has that happened? Oh, driver booster. Oh, oh, I've got rubbish drivers. There we are. So professional. Okay, so yes, if you've got a HOTAS, um, then you've come to the right place. Yesterday, tried to use one and it, and it wouldn't recognize it. I've now discovered that you have to launch the game with it plugged in. You can't plug it in sort of ad hoc and just go, oh, I'm so fancy, I'm just going to plug it in when I feel like it. No, you've got to plug it in before you launch the game. I imagine it does some sort of, you know, check to see what devices are connected as the game boots, so you can't do that on the fly. Haha, <laughs> puns. Okay, right, so settings. Uh, there's like a tutorial in the game to do this, but um, here's a better tutorial. Uh, right, controls. This is pretty simple. Now, if you have a Cytec X52 Pro or a Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog, uh, which I think is like, was what, 200 pounds last time I saw it? Uh, you know, one of the fancy ones. You might have a profile already coded into the game. So we would just go load, and then we have here. So that's for a gamepad, uh, the Cytec X52 Pro, and the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. Uh, but if you if you don't have something as fancy as that, then, um, then stick with me. And you can rebind all of these anyway. So I'm using the Thrustmaster Hotas X, Retails at about, what, what, I, got, I got it years ago, I think it was like 40 pounds. Uh, wonderful, it's made of plastic um, and, and tears probably, but it does the job. So, in the controls menu here, so remember to get here, we've just gone into settings and then controls. We've got three sort of broad categories of controls here. So we've got general, platform movement, that's when you're out with your actual legs running around, well actual legs in the game um, and menu navigation the most fun of all so what I do what I like to do is uh, I say like to do I've only done this yesterday is we first go to general because we're only going to use the hotas for the general um, tab as it were that's for your ship controls uh, and flying around which you would generally do with a with a joystick I tried running around with the joystick it felt weird it felt weird. I didn't like it. So we're going to go into general. Um, primary steering axis. This caught me. This caught me before. So hopefully this video will be of use. Uh, primary steering axis. Left and right. So we've got Z rotation in there. I'm going to click that. You click any of these to, to, to make it do stuff um, and to rebind it. And I'm just going to. I'm going to. I'm going to take a firm grip on that joystick and I'm going to twist it. And it will go Z rotation. Secondary steering axis, as you can see here, is roll. So I'm gonna take another firm grip and I'm gonna push to the left. And nothing's gonna happen. And again, X axis. Steer up and down. Well, you can see where this is going now. Steer up, down, that's the Y axis. So I'm gonna take a third firm grip and I'm gonna pull back. And there we are. And then we've got strafe left to right and strafe up and down. Now on the the HOTAS X, um, we don't have analog axes for these, we have buttons um, that I use. It's pretty much the exact same configuration as I use for Elite Dangerous, and I do have a video on that, it's a little bit old, but it's still, it's still entirely, I haven't changed it at all, so I'll put a link for that in the description below, uh, so you can have a look for that in more detail if you want. Um, so throttle is Z axis, that's the main, you know, the, the throttle thing. The, Thing that you push back and forth uh, so we can just do that again we just push it or we could pull it um, do whatever you want with it uh, and it will be the z-axis and we've we've got these other controls here you know I, I, I don't know if if some burglars came in and took only my 40 pound hose house then we could use these but we don't really need to and then we've got strafe strafe now for some reason we've got these I don't, I don't want these bound here, but I don't think I can unbind them. 
Oh, I can just press delete. I'm pressing delete on the keyboard. Uh, so strafe up. Uh, these are the buttons on the back of the throttle. So I can press that. That's button nine. As I said, the uh, the up, down, left, right. That's all digital. Uh, strafe down, button ten. Strafe left. Now on the back of the throttle, there's like a little paddle, so you can go left and right. Uh, so left on there. Slider one, right on there. Accelerate and decelerate. That's already bound to the throttle axis, so we don't need to do anything like that. And now we get into the other stuff. So we've still got quite a few buttons left. So we're just gonna gonna go down. Um, match target speed. I, I don't know why I found that. I don't even think there is a button 15 on this. Um, full reverse. No. Stop engines. No. Boost. Boost is potentially useful. So I'm gonna put that to the frame shift drive button I've got. Um, roll left and right. We've already got an axis for roll. Toggle mouse steering. You don't really need that. Uh, flight assist, steering axis, I'm going to ignore that for now. Uh, flight assist, uh, let's just pick a button at random. There we are. The uh, reverse apostrophe key. I'm sure there's a fancy name for that symbol, but there we are. Fire primary weapons! Primary weapons! That's button one, obviously. Fire primary weapons at cursor. Don't need to bind it if we're using a hotas. Fire secondary weapons. Button two! Uh, fire secondary secondary weapons no idea about that uh, right weapon groups so again like in Elite Dangerous because Elite Dangerous has fire groups uh, we're going to use the same buttons there next one button 5 um, and I'm not going to do the previous ones because we are limited on buttons so next secondary we weapon group button 6 uh, next ammunition some of these, you know, I, I, it's button seven. It's, it's bound it to button seven. I don't know what button seven is. <laughs> the, the labels have, have, have come off the thing. Uh, oh, I guess it's that one. Okay, so we, we go with that. But we might need to change it on the fly. Uh, puns. Right. Open quick action menu. No idea. I mean, you're going to still need a keyboard. You, you, yeah, you're going to, if you want to... to do even half of these things. Uh, deploy countermeasures. We need countermeasures. Um, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna still use the uh, the elite dangerous one. So I use the numpad a lot in there. What I've got is I've got my keyboard tray. You know, one of those pull-out ones. I've got the hotas on that, and on the desk itself, just in front of the monitor, I've got the keyboard. So hopefully we'll be able to do do both. I'm gonna leave these as it is. Those are the different modes of your ship. We might cover them in a later video. I might do a few videos on this. Um, quick action menu, blah, 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 map, blah, 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 blah. Don't really need much of that. Uh, don't really need much of that. Uh, right, targeting. Target closest enemy. Button 26, you kidding? Um, again, we've got limited buttons, so we need to sort of think. Um, target object. So that's just target ahead, so we use... We use the target ahead button uh, for that. Next target, uh, to cycle, we'll do that. Again, just copied over from Elite Dangerous. Um, dock, shift D, blah, blah, pause, blah, blah, blah. Toggle sound. Okay, don't really need, need that. Um, does shift do anything? Because I would like to have container magnets or shift because I, you know, it's not too far away. Shift plus something. Shift, 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 shift. No, shift is not bound. Ah, oh, probably because it's shift plus all the. But yeah, whatever. Shift. You can't bind shift. <laughs> Course crap. Uh, let's do A. A for attract. Expert settings. I'm, I'm not, not an expert. So there we are. I know I've gone through it really quickly, but that's that's it. And now we'll be able to to do everything with our ship. Um, platform movement. Uh, I strongly recommend that you uh, do not use a hotas for this. You can see that I've bound it, so I can use the. Oh, we've got four more buttons. I just forgot we got they got the hat controller. So what can we do with that? Um... Uh, um, 
You know, I'm gonna be really clever. There are four, four hat, uh, <coughs> four hat things, and four, um, shift D. This is so much. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to print this out. Um, there we are. So we've got shift one and blah, blah, blah. Travel mode, let's do pov up. Scan, let's do pov left. Long range scan mode, top right. Or pov right. And let's just do the hat controller. And then CETA mode, pov down. So I can do do the modes. Also, I've got everything, got my weapons. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's now all the buttons on the HOTAS. Again, if you've got a fancy expensive one, then you're gonna have more options. Uh, platform movement, that's really wasted. Um, run forward. I just tend to use battlefield controls, so shift, shift and forward to run. Um, and then you can use the mouse control. Uh, crouch, I don't know why you would crouch. Um, and, and run, and blah, 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 it's irrelevant. And yeah, they've got, they've got, you've got some behindings here, but it doesn't matter, you can still look around with the mouse. Menu navigation. Um, so I've bounded some stuff here. So like, you know, I've got the, the hat controller for menu usage. And so, yeah, we, we can, we can use that if you want to. Uh, but they can get a little bit confused. Um, and I only just found out, this game has taught me that there are actually um, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest controls in the hat controller. So up left, we can just uh, get that and we go up left. And it does it. Which I think is really cool. Um, <laughs> hollow map, blah, 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 blah. So much, but with that configured, and you can choose a dead zone. Personally, I don't really have—I don't have some enormous great joystick where I'm going to have a dead zone, so I'd really turn that way down. Um, et cetera. Now, what we can do is we can save this binding, and we can use our keyboard to go Novocaine. Oh, I can't spell Novocaine. Can it do a deal with apostrophes? Yes! Most excellent uh, bindings. Ugh. Didn't swear. Nearly swore! There we are. Done. And then we can just load that profile. And it will keep us all there. So we're just very quickly going to show off uh, this this stuff here. Val Selton's lock, day one. Val Selton. I'm excited to get underway with this new Great. ship. Great. Cheers, mate. Your new ship is rubbish, by the way. I still haven't figured out how the hell to do anything in this game yet, but I've, I've found the controls. Found the controls. Got that. All right, that's Mahatma Gandhi. I think I saw in an episode of QI that his first name was not really Mahatma. So, you know, Google that at your will. And now we've got a loading screen. We're going to cut the loading screen because, you know, who wants to watch a loading screen? Certainly not me. I love how it loads just as the music ends. Uh, there's something on the bottom left of the screen, uh, but I can't see it because the microphone's there. So here we are on the dock, and we can use Wasset to... Very slowly move around. We can hold shift and then go, and we go uh, slightly less slowly. Uh, and then this keeps bugging out. I keep teleporting back to my own ship, which I suppose I will need to go to eventually. Um, space doesn't doesn't do the the thing. Yeah, you hold shift then W. Space should jump. Need to rebind that. But well, I'll spare you the details. Uh, so there we are, this is the ship we start in, it's really crap, uh, and it's got this, this pea shooter laser thing. Uh, but I mean, you know, it, it's there. And why does that keep happening? Dude. Right, okay. So we are, I think we've still got F bound to interact, so we're gonna, no, E maybe. Oh, just left click. Okay, right, let's, let's undock, and then we can show off our, our hotel's controls. So, there we are. Okay, right. I actually needed to do something. <laughs> I needed to, to press the button to get the hotel to engage. 
Uh, but there we are. So we can just pull back. Uh, we can twist. Oh, it's very responsive, actually. Twist a little bit. Uh, really liking the lack of dead zone. Uh, I might turn it down to zero, actually, because I, like I like the finesse. But yeah, and then we can just go forward. Come out. And it is exactly the same as Elite Dangerous. It feels exactly the same. Uh, we're going to move up to this really badly textured force field thing. And then we're on our way. And uh, let's just, uh, you know, do the whole... <laughs> Love it. Uh, and then we can... Yes, the lots of tutorials. We'll cover that in a different video. But yeah, let's... Oh, brilliant. So we have got all of these, uh, these um, mode switches, which is great. So we can do our scanning. That does look nice. Yes. I do want to do that. Um, and just, you know, just muck about and go, pew 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 pew! Ha ha! Take that! Massive space station, I don't know who I am, I've just appeared here. Uh, and, and yeah. But you know, we can, we can move stuff and, and go to different places and, and play X4. You know, it's all good. We can switch our weapon groups. We've only got one weapon. And secondary. Oh, oh I'm gonna... Oof. I've got some shields. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, we, we, can, we can do all that. We can uh, target. Target ahead. Switch next target. See what's going on there. And then, of course, for the other stuff, we're, we're going to have to use the keyboard controls. Um, oh, that's our flight assist key that we did. I don't quite understand what the impact of flight assist is, but it's early days in this game. It's only been out a couple of days. So there we are, I'm now using a house fully to control my space vessel in X4 Foundations. And it feels good. It does feel good. I can go up, I can go down, I can I can move around. Oh, that's flight assist. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as Elite Dangerous. But yeah, I can, I can use the strafing. Again, this is digital. This is the slider on the back. Have a look at the video in the description for the Elite Dangerous configuration, which is pretty much exactly the same. And, and yeah. So if you were having difficulty in using a Hotas with this game, then I strongly suggest you make sure it is plugged in and is registered by your computer box before you launch the game, as that was the problem I was having. Uh, everything else is, is, is binded quite well. Um, if you've got like a really random brand of Hotas, maybe it won't work. But if, if that is true for you, please let me know in the comments. Um, and, and we'll take it from there. There's a hell of a lot to get through in this game. A hell of a lot. You know, I, I've watched some YouTubers far more confident, confident and competent than myself go, go, go through this. The game isn't perfect. There's lots of odd things about it that I don't quite like. But it is early days and it is an enormous great project. Um, so hopeful and optimistic for the future which is unlike me so so there we are using fancy flight sticks in x4 there we are and there's the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed your your time with me please do hit that subscribe button if you have and send me hate mail if you have not if you want to support the show please go to patreon.com forward slash nova kane and uh, do make sure to connect on the social media channels and the discord server which is all fancy so please uh have a look at all of that in the description below take the time read the words it's good uh before you click on to the next recommended video so there we are <coughs> still think the sun looks crap They'll probably release like a, a, a some looks better DLC. I, I've become so cynical, I, I, I swear to God. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Ever Kane, and I will see you next time.